Hi guys, welcome back. In our previous video, we saw how to create a cross-field validator in Angular front-end application. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a custom class-level constraint validator in Spring Boot backend application. As usual, I'm going to use a sample application called Task App for the use case scenario. Um, we are going to compare two attributes in the same DTO class and then we will decide whether the object is valid or invalid. We will be creating a custom annotation, a custom validator class and then we will use it in our data transfer object class. So let's get started. So in our previous video we saw how to restrict an user from creating a task with due date greater than or equal to repeat until date. But still an user who has an access to a backend REST API will be able to make a POST request or PUT request with invalid due date and repeat until date. For an example, this is our Swagger UI of our backend application and this is a task controller with um, different endpoints like getting a task, creating a task and updating a task and deleting a task. Let's say I want to uh, make a POST request that is to create a task with invalid due date and repeat until date. So this is our JSON object with due date 31st of January and the repeat until date I have set it uh, to 20th of January. So let's hit execute. Now as you can see here we have got a 200 uh, as response code and response body which means it has created although the due date and repeat until date is invalid so that should not happen we are going to uh, create a constraint which is going to restrict user from uh, creating a task with such uh, invalid due date and repeat until date so let's see how to implement this validator in our backend application so this is our task data transfer object with different attributes in it as you can see here it already has a field level constraints on, on each attributes for example due date has at future or present repeat until as at future and these are inbuilt constraints so now we are going to create a custom constraint which is going to compare the due date and repeat until date and then decide whether the complete object is valid or invalid. So the first step is to include a dependency in our pom.xml file and the dependency is called Spring Boot Starter Validation. I have already included it so let's move on to next step. The next step is to create a custom annotation. Let's go ahead and create an annotation called valid task dto so valid task dto file is created and now we are going to add a couple of annotations to this file here constraint validated file and in this annotation we will be adding a validator class which we will be creating in our next step and then a target annotation here we will be writing element type the different element types and this uh, element type uh, says that uh, in which place we are going to use this annotation. For example, when element type is parameter, we will be using this annotation for the parameters or method or only fields. In our case, we are going to apply this annotation to the whole class. So, we have to choose element type dot type. And then comes retention policy. And we want this annotation to be available throughout the runtime so retention policy is runtime and now we have to include some boilerplates 
like this here. And the important one is the first line here. This is the message set with the default value as due date should not be greater than or equal to repeat until date. Which means when the task due object is invalid because of due date and repeat until date, then we are going to get this message by default. So let's go ahead and create a validator class and then include a validator class here. So let's create a validator class called task DTO validator. And this custom validator is going to implement constraint validator and here comes the annotation name valid task dtu and then the object on which our annotation is going to be applied and let's implement some of the methods of constraint validator this both and hit OK. So, we have created a custom validator and implemented, which implements a constraint, constraint validator. And this, this is a, a method where we are going to write a condition which decides whether the class is valid or invalid. So, the condition is we are going to check if the task dto the reference incoming reference type is none if it is none then i am going to return true which means uh, when the task dto reference type is none then i say the task dto is valid Otherwise, I'm going to say, I'm going to check whether the task to do is repeat until date is not null and whether the task to has a due date which is before the task to repeat until date. When this condition is uh, satisfied then it returns true or false which decides whether the task DTO is valid or invalid. So our custom task DTO validator is ready and we have to include this task validator in our annotation task DTO validator dot class. That's it. So these two files are the important ones which we need to implement our custom validator. Let's go ahead and include this uh, annotation in our DTO class. So our valid task DTO. That's it. Now most importantly we have other step which is we have to include a valid annotation to our uh, controller method which means for example here when, when I send a post request this method will get fired with the request body, body task create dto which is a child class of our dto task dto and here we have to annotate this incoming parameters with at valid only then the validation will get invoked so now uh, I will build our application and let's see how it works. So <clears throat> I have built an application and the task backend container is, has been recreated and it's up and running. Let's go ahead and create a task with invalid due date and repeat until date. So in our post request we are going to send a request body with due date 31st of January and 
It's going to be, be repeated daily until 20th of January, which is which is an invalid date. The due date should not be greater than repeat until date. So I am expecting an error message saying the due date is greater than should not be greater than repeat until date. So I have used a um, global exception handler called risk with, with risk control advice and once uh, it finds that our DTO object is invalid then our method called the handle method argument not valid will get uh, will get called and the method argument not valid exception will be thrown so let's hit execute so we have made a post request to create a task with invalid due date and repeat until date so as you can see here we have received a HTTP status 400 with the bad request and the message is due date should not be greater than or equal to repeat until date so and that's how we can compare the two fields and then decide whether the class is valid or invalid using our class level custom constraint validator thank you very much for watching and see you guys on my next video